Hello everyone, I'm back. I would be lying if I told you that I was excited to film this video today, because I'm not. And you can probably hear my dishwasher going in the background. But today is a Sunday in my, my world. And Sundays are kind of my days of just sort of getting everything in my life reset. Oh my gosh, it's so loud. I was saying that Sundays are my days of just resetting. If I'm feeling well enough, I don't force myself to do it if I'm not feeling well and I have a lot of days where I don't feel well. But uh, yeah, usually on Sundays, I try and just get everything in a good place. I make sure the apartment is clean. I try and just tidy everything up. I make sure my desk is sort of in a good place to do editing and do work for the week. I do laundry. Uh, actually, I do laundry on Fridays, but it usually doesn't get folded till about Saturday or Sunday. And it's not because I don't like folding laundry. It's because I like folding laundry when I'm watching something specifically. It's almost like a treat, an ADHD treat. <laughs> because I have a hard time just sort of like sitting and watching something no matter how invested I am into the show or the movie I kind of always have to be doing something at the same time so oftentimes I will wipe down plants or water plants or reply to like DMs or comments while I'm watching a movie so something I really like to do is watch TV or watch movies while I'm folding laundry so I'll kind of wait until I'm in the mood to watch something so I'll leave the laundry for then but anyway, uh, laundry is included. I meal prep on Sundays. I get Pudge's stuff like all set. I like to wash all his toys, clean out his, his crate and stuff. I'm a little bit neurotic when it comes to the cleanliness of the house because I actually have OCD um, and I'm trying to work on it. But at the same time, I kind of feel like when my apartment's in a good space, my head is in a good space too for the week. Otherwise, if I try and film, if I try and sit down behind a computer and work, all I'm thinking about is the mess that's festering in the house. So Sundays are my days of sort of guilt-free, not working, um, not doing any kind of work, whether for YouTube or free pancakes, or which is my business, and I just focus on my space. So also with the apartment obviously comes my plant room and this is the room that gets messy on a daily basis. So once a month I try and do like a good clean of the space and not only a good clean, I like to restock things that have run out in jars, I like to prepare new pond, I like to get everything sanitized, wiped down and those are the kinds of things that I'm not doing on a daily basis and I really just rely on this one day of the month where I'm feeling super productive and can kind of get everything in a good place so that everything is set when I do need to film. Uh, so that's what today is. The plant room isn't actually super messy in terms of things around the plant room because I sort of just tidied it up in another video but there are sort of maintenance things like general maintenance things that I don't always show on this channel that does need to get done and I figure we all kind of have our own little routine with our spaces and our plants uh, that I actually find pretty fascinating. I really love seeing sort of the day-to-day -day things in people's lives like the ordinary things especially when it comes to this hobby so I felt like I would just kind of show you what it looks like for me on a day where I just try and get my plant room in a decent condition so that I'm set for the rest of the month. So yeah, that's what today's video is gonna be. I don't know how chatty it's gonna be. I don't know if I'm gonna be time-lapsing most of it um, because I only have a few hours to film, but on the list today, I do have some empty jars that I want to get refilled. Um, I have pots that I need to put away. I don't know if you guys have seen my other videos where I refer to it as my box of laziness where like I'll do repots for filming or just general repots on my own and then all the dirty vessels I just shove into a bin and I deal with it later so I was actually feeling really really good yesterday so I just went in and was like F it I'm gonna clean out my box of laziness which I did and now they all just need to be like dried and put away so I need to do that I have a bunch of dirty glass in here like I need to wipe down my my mills bowl I need to wipe down my exos 
uh, probably need to refill humidifiers and just kind of get everything looking a little bit more I guess we'll just get started. I think where I want to start is my plant table. I'm kind of wondering if I want to repot something because that also needs to be done. Can we talk about this really quick? Jing gave my mom this begonia tamaya. Why is it bamboo? Look at that. She's thick. It's like, it's a stick. I've never seen a tamaya with such a thick stem before massive so yeah I chopped it off because there's no way I'm going to transport this massive thing um, let me actually show you what the plant looks like so this is what it was chopped off of and it was actually just sticking straight up here like all the way here and I was like no I'm not doing that so um, this is it my mom is in love with her begonia tamaya and I had, I had wanted to get her another one so that she had one in another room in the house. And Jing was kind enough to gift that one to my mom. So lucky her, but also now I have to care for it until August. So I also need to find a place in my plant room where that fits. If not, I'm probably just going to stick it on my plant shelf for a while. But anyway, let's just get started. Because honestly, the second I am wrapped with this video, I'm going to go to sleep and take a nap until it's nighttime. So, okay. So, yeah. All right, we got a lot going on on this table, but first let me highlight to you my last uh, transplant or repot fail in tree fern fiber. This forgetti I did not appreciate being moved. It was literally living in a swamp before and I thought I moved it into something a little bit better. And uh, yeah, it was like, you don't ever touch me again don't ever look at me again so point taken um, I'm gonna need to handle this at some point but that day is not today and then I have all these like random propagation so this one is a ripsalis salicornioids that I was supposed to drop off at my neighbor upstairs like two days ago which I haven't done yet um, I have a few plants that I'm thinking about selling um, this campo was doing really well until I moved it into the back of my exo and I am almost certain that everything is rotted in here because these leaves won't plump up so at some point I need to repot that and pretty much all of these plants that you see here need to be repot but I am saving that for a repot video which I will probably do this week so that I can address it sooner than later. This was my once Plowmanii that was doing so well for a long time and then just decided to take a crapola. So I'm just going to leave all of these here because these need to be addressed and uh, that's for another day. But I do have like a bunch of like pawn here and stuff that I need to get into my vessel and just kind of handle. So I'm probably going to time lapse this part. So the next thing I'm going to do is replace my, I used to have a little jar for my pond, but I don't need this one anymore. I'm probably going to just rip off my brand new manicure, but you know, at this rate I'm doing my nails like twice a week. and. 
I've accepted my fate because I refuse to use gel polish. Not that I refuse to, I'm just hesitant, I guess. Um, I know that you can use those gloves or whatever to protect your hands from the UV rays, but I still, I don't know, she's, she's a little paranoid. Yep, there goes the manicure. There she goes. We're gonna see a thumbnail soon. And I'm just gonna add this into this jar. Ah, balls flying everywhere. Maybe I should grab my funnel. Bloop. Much better. I don't think both of these are gonna fit in here. I'm gonna try. If it fits perfectly, oh, that's gonna be, I'm gonna think about that for a while. Any guesses, is it gonna fit? I don't think it's gonna fit, you guys. There's like half of this left still. Release. Oh man. That's almost worse than it fitting. Just barely fitting. It's like slap in the face. Come on, look, there's only a little bit left. I'm gonna fill all the way to the top. Come on. Come on. Oh, what a freaking. Okay. 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 This is ridiculous. I'm determined. It's gonna be a biatch using this later. You guys, I want it to fit so freaking badly. <laughs> I'm gonna run straight into a wall. Ugh, I'm just gonna put it in my pond. Man. Man, man, man. Okay. <sighs> Let's get this on there. And then I'm just gonna label this one. And then I am going to be reusing, I'll remove these stickers and then I'll reuse it for something else. Maybe like propagations or corms or something. Whoa, it's a clean puppy. He's got the zoomies right now because he just took a, sh a bath. Please don't sit on me, you're wet. Don't sit on me, you're wet. Go, go play somewhere. Why are you in the plant room, weirdo? You know he's like that, that wet dog smell? Ugh. Ew. Very smelly. Ew. You smell like a wet puppy. What are you looking for? Oh, thanks a lot. Can I help you? Can I have a kiss on the lips? Can I have a kiss on the lips? I love you. What do you need? Go to dad. Oh, he stinks. I hate the wet dog smell, you guys. The reason that we are on the floor is because I gotta put away all my um, vessels. Ugh, yuck. Uh, we will go back to the table in a bit. I need to do this first. And then we'll go back there. We're going to be hopping around all over the place. I'm going to use this as my new... 
What's that sound? That Voldemort sound? Is that who it is? Okay, anyway. <sighs> so yeah, I washed all of these guys out yesterday and um, I am happy that it's over because seriously, it's like my least favorite plant chore to do. And the reason that I have branded the week of plant to-dos as a week of plant to-dos and not plant chores is because I don't want it to seem that everything I'm doing in uh, that week is considered a chore. It's more of a to-do. It's something that I did. Um, but I would consider this a chore. Doing this kind of stuff, it's like, you know, it's like loading the dishwasher or mopping the floors. It's a chore, it's not fun, I don't enjoy it, um, but it must be done, and someone actually commented, like, I can't believe you wash your vessels. Doesn't everyone wash their vessels? Like, if it's, like, dirty, like, there's, like, dirt and nasty stuff, don't you give it a, a little rinse? No? Just me? You're probably noticing that I have a ton of vessels. Um, one single person does not need this many vessels, but I am going to be bringing some to my mom because they don't sell these kinds of orchid pots and clear pots in Sacramento. So I am going to bring her a ton. Um, I'm going to bring her some of these guys and just kind of get her all set because she did buy some when she was here and I did give her, I gave her a lot of pots while she was here, but now that I'm going to be bringing her a lot more plants, she's going to need some more. And now that my sister's getting a tent, she's going to need some more. So I might even give her like all of these um, since I'm not really using these kinds of orchid pots anymore. Um, and I'm going pretty much no drainage for a lot of my plants. So a lot of these will be going to California. <clears throat> Oh my lantern, it's hot. I really, really love these um, clear pots from Jing though. I will throw up her website on the screen if you are interested in purchasing some. Um, I like them because all of the holes are big enough that I can just pull them out. And it's not like these slitted pots where once it gets stuck in this slit, it's like a death sentence for your roots. Especially for plants that have a very delicate root system like alocasia or a begonia or who else has a delicate root system? Seedlings or something? Not that you'd put a seedling in a pot that big, but you know what I mean. Whew.
Now that that is cleared out, I'm gonna put all of the plants that I need to work on in here so that it's not like taking up my plant table. And then that way I can actually clean off my plant table. I swear I'm gonna get to these, I swear. Like look at my Skindapsis Trubii Dark. This thing did not wanna grow for me for the longest time. And then as soon as I got on a pole, which I'm not quite sure what, where I was in life at that time, but not my best decision. It looks so weird. What was I thinking? Why would I want this to climb? Maybe I was thinking it would like, I don't know. What was I thinking, you guys? Why did you stop me? I'm pretty sure I did this on camera too. I definitely want a basket now. Um, I don't know if my mom has one of these, but uh, she's gonna get some because it's big. And it's funny because like, before like when we were down here it would push out like one new leaf literally what it felt like it felt like it was like pushing out a leaf a year and then um once i got it into new pond it would do this thing where it pushes out like three or four leaves sort of at the same time so all of these leaves up here emerged at the same time in one little bundle it was like five new leaves and then it like grew but it's too long so i need to address this ASAP. It would be nice to have a little hanging trubii on my plant shelf. And then I showed you the sad campo that I would put money on that it's just got root rot. Um, I have a plumenia I need to clean and stick in a prop bin. I have a myoi that I need to repot and uh, I'm going to be giving that one away. I have this Jacenia that I'm not gonna lie, I'm having a hard time loving it the way that I did when Jing gave me this leaf because I thought this was really beautiful, but no variegation. <laughs> so it's just a, what is that, like a jade pothos and that's not my favorite plant um, in the world. So I'm not sure how I'm feeling about that one at the moment. I have Cebu Blue that I think that the the um, mindset when I did this was that I wanted to try and let it grow up a pole. So it's already climbing this little greenhouse. So I need to make a pole for that soon. And then this one, I just need to pot into a, uh, a bushy pot because this is like a bunch of Skindapsis uh, silver cloud cuttings. And I really, really love this kind of skindapsis, so I should probably do that soon. And then I have a myoi that I'm going to try and sell locally for like two cents. And then who else do I have here? Oh, I have this uh, Microcerum thailandicum fern that I need to repot because it is crazy algae ridden and I can start to see some of the roots coming upward. So it, that's how I know that a plant is due for a repot. And then I have this, oh geez, philodendron Florida green now, but this was a Florida beauty. It's just reverted. So I'm gonna repot that. I'm gonna offer it back to Alice, which I doubt she'll wanna take because she gave me this cutting to begin with. Um, and yeah, I'm not really sure, sorry. I'm starting to get a headache. And then um, I have this really set. I have this really sad Deshidia that I just got from um, Lauren. That, oh, this thing is just dropping like flies. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a goner. 
but it was overtaken by root mealies and um, she's she's not looking good not looking good at all mm. and it's like it sucks because I did like a soak on this thing but I can still see a few and it's just not it's not looking wonderful and truly I should not have it in this close quarters with my other plants but what are you gonna do so ooh, okay let's get that off It is so effing hot in here. Um, so now that most of the plant room is like tidy-ish, like most of the big things are out of the way, I'm going to be making a new batch of pond because I have a lot of repotting to do next week. And um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I just don't wanna have to mix it on the day that I have to film those videos because filming repot videos are probably the most, di my humidifier. I didn't realize that my fans on my Ethereum shelf were sucking in the, uh, the humidifier air and it was like making all my Ethereum super wet, not in a sexy way. Okay, anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna make a new batch of pond because repot days when I have to film are very, very, very stressful. And uh, the last thing that I ever wanna do is have to mix my stuff on that day. So I'm gonna just do it now. I need to wear a mask though because it's gonna get dusty. I'm gonna turn on the exhaust fan in here. I have an exhaust fan up there and it just sucks out all the air in here, which is really cool. But try and do this stuff outdoors. I just don't want to do it outside right now because it's raining.
everything is looking good and now I am set for at least a few repots in the future. And just like that, we are back where we started, except a whole lot cleaner and also a whole lot sweatier. I think the only thing that needs to be cleaned in this house is myself. I am overdue for a shower and uh, it is like a million degrees in this apartment. So anyway, um, yeah, that was it for today's video. I really just wanted to do something super chill, super easy to edit and um, yeah, I've just had sort of a week. I'm trying to get ahead of the game and honestly publishing these one, one and a half, two, two and a half hour videos back to back to back to back is a lot. I feel like the sort of normal YouTube video length is like 20, 15, 20 minutes long and uh, I can never seem to publish anything less than an hour. So I don't know how long this is going to be, but I just, yeah, I needed to do something where I wasn't talking too much and I just need to get in a better place so that I can do some more of these longer videos. And I do have some pretty labor intensive videos on the schedule. So yeah, I just need to, I just needed the plant room to be, to be sort of in a better place. Um, I didn't do a lot of watering today because I actually watered last night. I, yeah, I just needed a moment for myself. I like turned off half of the lights in here and I just watered and listened to music and it was like super chill and I didn't want to film because that was like sort of my time to just 
decompress and be with my plants and I am trying to create boundaries between YouTubing and just enjoying this hobby on my own. So that's been a challenge, but I feel like, you know, I'm slowly and slowly but surely understanding where those lines are. So anywho, uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope maybe it inspired you to get your plant room clean or that bin clean or that closet clean or that drawer, whatever it might be that is stressing you out. Um, and if it didn't inspire you and you want to just leave it as it is, that is totally fine too. And that is my cue to go. Um, gosh, that means I gotta go cook dinner now. No. Okay. So I'm going to get out of here. Um, I'm a sweaty mess and I can literally see myself glistening. So hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it because it helps Pudge and I a lot on YouTube. And thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching another Wednesday upload and I will see you in the next one.